It's been such a busy day in terms of the earnings story. I don't know if it's shifted your narrative at all. Coming into today, the conclusion I was hearing from Bloomberg Intelligence was that we were getting lots of beats on the top line, but further down the P&L, things look more troubled. What's been your assessment so far? We see the earnings season as really a mixed bag, and um, it's not necessarily very good news looking forward because we have an economic momentum that is des decelerating very fast, and we also have central banks all around the world hiking interest rates. So we feel that we're likely to see more uh, earnings revision downward, um, especially given what's priced uh, for the second half of this year. And then looking um, at multiples, I would say we're not out of the Woods, the market is around 17, 18 times for the S&P 500. And with the Fed hiking interest rates, with a high probability of recession on the horizon, that might look a little bit on the high side. Yeah, and energy, such a big portion of many of these global markets, certainly here in London, certainly in Europe, uh, broadly, Geraldine, do you think that what we see in energy is sort of skewing our assessment of how the earnings picture is, uh, is presenting itself? Absolutely. I mean, there's two parts on the spectrum. There's energy on the one side, and we know there's financial uh, on the other side. The average is a small uh, single-digit number, but a lot of diversification and things going on under the bonnet. But then even within sectors, we see companies that have been able to pass on prices uh, increase that are doing better than those that have failed. But, you know, we have to um, take a bit of a more uh, medium-term view on all of this, because from one quarter to one quarter, things can change and we think that what where you need to really focus are those resilient sectors that will grow no matter what as the global economy slows down